Hand loaders, bullet casters, welcome back to my bench. We're starting a new series about bullet hardness. Does it matter? And is there a way to measure it? Do we need to be worried about it? What you just saw me do was smack this bullet on my vise just to kind of see how it would react. You know, there's a lot of old school methods that people use to try to determine hardness. Did that tell me anything? Probably not a whole lot. There's also the old fingernail trick. You know, I can take my fingernail, run it across. I don't have much of a fingernail there. And I can just barely see that, well, this bullet isn't really accepting my fingernail mark a whole lot. Does that mean something to us? Do we need to be worried about it? What about this knife blade? Can I just run this little knife blade across it? Oh yeah, not a problem. I just made a nice little mark. So there's a lot of information out there that we need to be aware of. And you've probably heard that cast bullets with smokeless powder need to be hard. Now with black powder, we used real soft, dead soft lead. But you know, now bullet alloys, we're making them a lot harder. Uh, and there's a lot of people that say, if you're gonna use smokeless powder, and chances are you are, uh, you need a hard bullet. Okay, another one is the bullet only has to be hard if it's gonna be traveling over 800 feet per second, okay? Another one is that soft cast bullets will cause leading problems. All right, there's also hard bullets, hard cast, which you might have seen that printed on a lot of labels of cast bullets that you bought in the past. Uh, another, so you know, cast bullets need to be hard cast. Otherwise, you're going to have lead fouling because a hard cast bullet can withstand gas cutting and if you've been with me for a good little while you you know about gas cutting all right and only soft bullets will obturate well maybe you're not familiar with obturation okay it's a thing and we're gonna get into it but not so much in this particular video so lead smith what is your answer to the following statements yes no. Okay. So is there a truth in there? Yes. Are these things hard, fast rules? No. There's a lot of guidelines out there that are helpful to follow. We're going to get into that through this series. But what I want to do today is I want to just start at the beginning. I've got this little Lee hardness testing kit that it was a birthday present for me a few years ago that I really appreciated. And I don't feel like it's a have to have thing, but if you're anything like me and my subscribers, you're all about the numbers. This kit right here by Lee Reloading is uh, designed so that it will fit in your press, a simple single stage or a turret press. Probably doesn't matter a whole heck of a lot what kind of press you have, but it does seem to work better if you're able to use the shell holder, which might be kind of complicated on some of your progressives out there, but I'm sure that there's a workaround for it. And the concept here is that what we will do is we will take a bullet, just like this one right here that I smacked with the hammer, and we will put an indention on this bullet in a certain spot and we will use this pocket microscope or magnifying glass to look through and take the measurement. This is where a lot of people have a hard time. Now, if you are looking through that magnifying glass or pocket microscope, I can't remember exactly what we're supposed to call it, you will see a vision similar to this right here, which is going to measure the indentation of the indent that you put into that bullet. And by measurement, done a certain way, carefully, to make sure instructions are followed, we will have a very good idea of the hardness of the bullet that we're working with. 
So in this little Lee hardness testing kit, Lee provides a chart with a, a breakdown of what these numbers should mean to you. And we'll go ahead and review this for just a moment. Let's take a look at the top left side. All right, so whenever we get our bullet uh, indention diameter measured, you know, let's just say, for example, we have this 0 0.038. This corresponds to a Brunel hardness number of 36.6. This tells us that theoretically the strength of this alloy is 52,111 PSI. Will this number mean something to you? Well, it might, but it might not. It's here for your pleasure. And according to this chart, we now have a maximum PSI, which is pressure. Okay, this is directly loaded to your hand loading practice and your powder selection and how much you choose to use and that sort of thing. According to this chart, the maximum chamber pressure allowable for this 36.6 BHN bullet is 46,000. 900 PSI. So now let's crack open a hand loading manual. Let's say we decided we're going to load 7 millimeter Remington Ultra Mag with some cast bullets. Let's say that our cast bullet here is this Lyman 287641 160 grain. Now I've got, let's see, maybe some SR4759 powder, and I'm wanting to make some screaming loads. The max pressure, according to this Lyman book, is 35,200 PSI. So if we go back, what was our maximum pressure on that particular bullet? 46,000 900 PSI. So technically, this should possibly be a combination according to all the scientists, all the engineers, all the ballisticians, and well, you know, I've got a better idea. Let's use what we have and see what works. So before we go too much further in this series, I want you to understand how I approach these charts, okay? I like these charts, and the reason why is because they give me an idea of where I may want to start, especially if I'm working up a new load, maybe on a new rifle, or perhaps, you know, I'm new to Magnum rifles. So if I have the ability to select alloys based off of the charts and that sort of thing, I'm going to do that, and I will work from it. Am I going to take this as gospel? No, because I have seen far too many times where a soft bullet that shouldn't be shot at ultra-high magnum 44 levels has done an outstanding job in accuracy and in you know, not fouling up the bore. So there are a lot of variables at play. Let's understand this is a good starting point when you're dealing with a lot of unknowns. Now, in order to use this hardness tester, what we really need is to start with the bullet supported, preferably a good vise. We want to take our hardness measurement somewhere here on the shank of the bullet. Lee recommends against trying to take it on the back or the front. I'm not 100% sure why. Possibly there are some variations in the alloy in the front to the rear. Is that the case? I don't know. So I just opt to go ahead and do this the way Mr. Lee suggests. And you're going to need a file because you have to get a nice flat surface. My recommendation to you is use a file that you don't like. Because lead and files are a terrible combination, you do not want to take a nice, finely made American file that you probably can't even find anymore, and if you can, you'll have to take out a mortgage on it. 
um, and plug it up with lead. It will clean out, but a lot of times there's always some that sticks around. Now if you notice right here, I've got it filed down pretty well to where the lube grooves and everything are flush. There's one nice flat spot. The filing leaves a pretty rough finish, we can make it di which can make it difficult to interpret your measurements. So once you kind of take it down, it's not a bad idea to dress it down a little further with a finer file. And honestly, the file set that I'm using is just one of those cheap file sets that you can get from the big box stores, the hardware stores. I'm certainly not going to use a nice file for this. But you do need to get some smooth results. And that's what I'm getting with this lighter file. And I'm pretty happy with what I got so far. But there are still some marks that I would like to see go away because this will interfere with how easy it is for you to read those numbers. And it is not easy peering through that little pocket microscope that's provided by Lee. So this is not something that you want to just, you know, grab a bullet, you know, flatten off a spot, throw it in your press and get a measurement. It's kind of one of those things that the more you put into it, the easier it's going to be in the end. Now after that second pass with the file, I'll usually take some sandpaper. Honestly, I'm not even too terribly concerned about the grit. This is pretty fine. It's probably a thousand grit. Um, but I don't have like a, you know, a hard fast rule on what grit sandpaper to use. All we're trying to get is a nice smooth finish because any imperfection in this little flat we made will make it difficult to read the numbers. But I have an incredibly easy way for those of you who have a smartphone <laughs> to be able to use this pocket microscope. I'm going to show you exactly how it's done. And I tell you what, it, it makes a difference. I'm pretty happy with what I got right here. Let's take a look. That is a nice smooth finish. Probably plenty decent enough. On the edges there, there's still some file marks, but right there in the middle where I'm going to be putting that indentation, yeah, that's almost a mirror finish. Not bad for lead. So the way this is going to work, if you look at the end, there is a 5 30 seconds ball that is spring-loaded and calibrated at 60 pounds. It's going to require 60 pounds of force to get an accurate reading. Now, on the other end, there is a rod that can come out of this hole pretty far as we apply pressure to this 532nd ball. We do not want to see the rod rise above this case, uh, but we want to see it flush. If it rises above, then we've applied too much pressure. If it stays below, then we haven't applied enough pressure. So I'm going to try to get you a shot of both, which is kind of difficult to do. I'm also going to give you a heads up that you may need to practice a couple of times with some other bullets to make sure that you have the seating depth or the depth of this die at the ideal position in order to get a good reading. This part here, I'll go ahead before I throw it in there, is the little cradle that Lee gives you so that you can rest this bullet in place and uh, have it properly supported. Uh, if you're using a progressive press like a Dillon, this might be kind of complicated, but I'm sure that there are some workarounds for that. So here I have the bullet rested in its cradle, prepared to go in, and I have selected and lined up a spot on that bullet where I want my indentation to happen, because if you can plan that accordingly, that'll make it a lot easier to set your pocket microscope on it for a good measurement. Now I'm going to go ahead and bring it up, and I'm going to hold it 
for 30 seconds. And I'm going to make as sure as I can that I'm nice and flush with that rod on the top that I showed you. One one thousand, two one thousand, three one thousand, four one thousand, five one thousand, six one thousand, four, twenty five, twenty six, twenty seven, twenty eight, twenty nine, thirty. So now we have it released. And we have this little indention that I am now going to show you how to measure. Now I'm going to show you through the image in my camera the hardness measurement of this bullet. But in order to do this, I want to show you how I'm getting there because it's not quite as complicated as it may seem, but your smartphone will help you to do this. And I am recording with my smartphone. I don't have a dedicated camera. Everything I've done has been with my smartphone. And it's nothing special. Just a basic Android. Um, so I have here the little magnifying pocket microscope chalked up into some soft jaws in this vise. Okay, now as you can see, my jaws are offset. I've scooted them out this way so that I can have, you know, a spot for my little microscope to ride down. And the table is sitting too far from the microscope, which I have just about flush up here. The viewing section is right here. And so I've just taken some books and some little shim, a little uh, paint stirrer to make a shim so that I can make sure that the bullet is rested against the pocket microscope where it belongs. Now in order to do this, you need light. That's what I have right here. You need light going in at the bottom. You also need light going in at the top because you're not gonna have your eyeball squarely on here because that's the normal way to use it is just look through it with your eye. Uh, so I'm gonna use my little case right here a uh, smartphone case I'm just gonna kind of show you how this will work I've got a 1911 magazine <laughs> as a shim laid out right here and I can rest the smartphone camera right here and view through that pocket microscope and zoom in and if you have your light and everything set up right you're gonna get a good picture so, like I said, my camera is my phone, and I'm going to show you this picture. So, let's go ahead and get that set up. So, now that I got my light and everything set up just how I want it, don't overthink the light, folks. This is uh, it's just light. I'm going to try to slowly bring you in so that you can look through this pocket microscope. And as you can see, we're starting to see something that looks like an indention. We see Lee's brand name through the top. And we have a pretty clear picture. I'm not even zoomed in. We can't see the graduations quite yet, but I'm gonna bring you further in. Ha ha. Now folks, that is a very clear picture. You will give yourself a headache unless you have absolutely perfect eyes in trying to just peer through it in the traditional way. So the smartphone idea, use it folks, it's going to help. So over here we have a .04 and then we skip along a few more hash marks and that should be uh, a... 0 0.05 in the middle and then there is this 0 0.06 we're not quite so far as this 0 0.06 we'll start with the 0 0.05 in the middle and we will skip over one two three now each line just as said at the bottom there is two thousandths of an inch so 
we're going from 0.05, that's 0.052, 0.054, 0.055, 0.055, 0.055, 0.055, 0.055, 0.055, 0.055, 0.055, 0.055, 0.055, 0.055, 0.055, 0.055, 0.055, 0.055, 0.055, 0.055, 0.055, 0.055, 0.055, 0.055, 0.055, 0.055, 0.055, 0.055, 0.055, 0.055, 0.055, 0.055, 0.055, 0.055, 0.055, 0.055, 0.055, 0.055, 0.055, 0.055, 0.055, 0.055, 0.055, 0.055, 0.055, 0.055, 0.055, 0.055, 0.055, 0.055, 0.055, 0.055, 0.055, 0.055, 0.055, 0.055, 0.055, 0.055, 0.055, 0.055, 0.055, 0.055, 0.055, 0.055, 0.055, 0.055, 0.055, 0.055, 0.055, 0.055, 0.055, 0.055, 0.055, 0.055, 0.055, 0.055, 0.055, 0.055, 0.055, 0.055, 0.055, 0.055, 0.055, 0.055, 0.055, 0.055, 0.055, 0.055, 0.055, 0.055, 0.055, 0.055, 0.055, 0.055, 0.055, 0.055, 0.055, 0.055, 0.055, 0.055, 0.055, 0.055, 0.055, 0.055, 0.055, 0.055, 0.055, 0.055, 0.055, 0.055, 0.055, 0.055, 0.055, 0.055, 0.055, 0.055, 0.055, 0.055, 0.055, 0.055, 0.055, 0.055, 0.055, 0.055, 0.055, 0.055, 0.055, 0.055, 0.055, 0.055, 0.055, 0.055, 0.055, 0.055, 0.055, 0.055, 0.055, 0.055, 0.055, 0.055, 0.055, 0.055, 0.055, 0.055, 0.055, 0.055, 0.055, 0.055, 0.055, 0.055, 0.055, 0.055, 0.055, 0.055, 0.055, 0.055, 0.055, 0.055, 0.055, 0.055, 0.055, 0.055, 0.055, 0.055, 0.055, 0.055, 0.055, 0.055, 0.055, 0.055, 0.055, 0.055, 0.055, 0.055, 0.055, 0.055, 0.055, 0.055, 0.055, 0.055, 0.055, 0.055, 0.055, 0.055, 0.055, 0.055, 0.055, 0.055, 0.055, 0.055, 0.055, 0.055, 0.055, 0.055, 0.055, 0.055, 0.055, 0.055, 0.055, 0.055, 0.055, 0.055, 0.055, 0.055, 0.055, 0.055, 0.055, 0.055, 0.055, 0.055, 0.055, 0.055, 0.055, 0.055, 0.055, 0.055, 0.055, 0.055, 0.055, 0.055, 0.055, 0.055, 0.055, 0.055, 0.055, 0.055, 0.055, 0.055, 0.055, 0.055, 0.055, 0.055, 0.055, 0.055, 0.055, 0.055, 0.055, 0.055, 0.055, 0.055, 0.055, 0.055, 0.055, 0.055, 0.055, 0.055, 0.055, 0.055, 0.055, 0.055, 0.055, 0.055, 0.055, 0.055, 0.055, 0.055, 0.055, 0.055, 0.055, 0.055, 0.055, 0.055, 0.055, 0.055, 0.055, 0.055, 0.055, 0.055, 0.055, 0.055, 0.055, 0.055, 0.055, 0.055, 0.055, 0.055, 0.055, 0.055, 0.055, 0.055, 0.055, 0.055, 0.055, 0.055, 0.055, 0.055, 0.055, 0.055, 0.055, 0.055, 0.055, 0.055, 0.055, 0.055, 0.055, 0.055, 0.055, 0.055, 0.055, 0.055, 0.055, 0.055, 0.055, 0.055, 0.055, 0.055, 0.055, 0.055, 0.055, 0.055, 0.055, 0.055, 0.055, 0.055, 0.055, 0.055, 0.055, 0.055, 0.055, 0.055, 0.055, 0.055, 0.055, 0.055, 0.055, 0.055, 0.055, 0.055, 0.055, 0.055, 0.055, 0.055, 0.055, 0.055, 0.055, 0.055, 0.055, 0.055, 0.055, 0.055, 0.055, 0.055, 0.055, 0.055, 0.055, 0.055, 0.055, 0.055, 0.055, 0.055, 0.055, 0.055, 0.055, 0.055, 0.055, 0.055, 0.055, 0.055, 0.055, 0.055, 0.055, 0.055, 0.055, 0.055, 0.055, 0.055, 0.055, 0.055, 0.055, 0.055, 0.055, 0.055, 0.055, 0.055, 0.055, 0.055, 0.055, 0.055, 0.055, 0.055, 0.055, 0.055, 0.055, 0.055, 0.055, 0.055, 0.055, 0.055, 0.055, 0.055, 0.055, 0.055, 0.055, 0.055, 0.055, 0.055, 0.055, 0.055, 0.055, 0.055, 0.055, 0.055, 0.055, 0.055, 0.055, 0.055, 0.055, 0.055, 0.055, 0.055, 0.055, 0.055, 0.055, 0.055, 0.055, 0.055, 0.055, 0.055, 0.055, 0.055, 0.055, 0.055, 0.055, 0.055, 0.055, 0.055, 0.055, 0.055, 0.055, 0.055, 0.055, 0.055, 0.055, 0.055, 0.055, 0.055, 0.055, 0.055, 0.055, 0.055, 0.055, 0.055, 0.055, 0.055, 0.055, 0.055, 0.055, 0.055, 0.055, 0.055, 0.055, 0.055, 0.055, 0.055, 0.055, 0.055, 0.055, 0.055, 0.055, 0.055, 0.055, 0.055, 0.055, 0.055, 0.055, 0.055, 0.055, 0.055, 0.055, 0.055, 0.055, 0.055, 0.055, 0.055, 0.055, 0.055, 0.055, 0.055, 0.055, 0.055, 0.055, 0.055, 0.055, 0.055, 0.055, 0.055, 0.055, 0.055, 0.055, 0.055, 0.055, 0.055, 0.055, 0.055, 0.055, 0.055, 0.055, 0.055, 0.055, 0.055, 0.055, 0.055, 0.055, 0.055, 0.055, 0.055, 0.055, 0.055, 0.055, 0.055, 0.055, 0.055, 0.055, 0.055, 0.055, 0.055, 0.055, 0.055, 0.055, 0.055, 0.055, 0.055, 0.055, 0.055, 0.055, 0.055, 0.055, 0.055, 0.055, 0.055, 0.055, 0.055, 0.055, 0.055, 0.055, 0.055, 0.055, 0.055, 0.055, 0.055, 0.055, 0.055, 0.055, 0.055, 0.055, 0.055, 0.055, 0.055, 0.055, 0.055, 0.055, 0.055, 0.055, 0.055, 0.055, 0.055, 0.055, 0.055, 0.055, 0.055, 0.055, 0.055, 0.055, 0.055, 0.055, 0.055, 0.055, 0.055, 0.055, 0.055, 0.055, 0.055, 0.055, 0.055, 0.055, 0.055, 0.055, 0.055, 0.055, 0.055, 0.055, 0.055, 0.055, 0.055, 0.055, 0.055, 0.055, 0.055, 0.055, 0.055, 0.055, 0.055, 0.055, 0.055, 0.055, 0.055, 0.055, 0.055, 0.055, 0.055, 0.055, 0.055, 0.055, 0.055, 0.055, 0.055, 0.055, 0.055, 0.055, 0.055, 0.055, 0.055, 0.055, 0.055, 0.055, 0.055, 0.055, 0.055, 0.055, 0.055, 0.055, 0.055, 0.055, 0.055, 0.055, 0.055, 0.055, 0.055, 0.055, 0.055, 0.055, 0.055, 0.055, 0.055, 0.055, 0.055, 0.055, 0.055, 0.055, 0.055, 0.055, 0.055, 0.055, 0.055, 0.055, 0.055, 0.055, 0.055, 0.055, 0.055, 0.055, 0.055, 0.055, 0.055, 0.055, 0.055, 0.055, 0.055, 0.055, 0.055, 0.055, 0.055, 0.055, 0.055, 0.055, 0.055, 0.055, 0.055, 0.055, 0.055, 0.055, 0.055, 0.055, 0.055, 0.055, 0.055, 0.055, 0.055, 0.055, 0.055, 0.055, 0.055, 0.055, 0.055, 0.055, 0.055, 0.055, 0.055, 0.055, 0.055, 0.055, 0.055, 0.055, 0.055, 0.055, 0.055, 0.055, 0.055, 0.055, 0.055, 0.055, 0.055, 0.055, 0.055, 0.055, 0.055, 0.055, 0.055, 0.055, 0.055, 0.055, 0.055, 0.055, 0.055, 0.055, 0.055, 0.055, 0.055, 0.055, 0.055, 0.055, 0.055, 0.055, 0.055, 0.055, 0.055, 0.055, 0.055, 0.055, 0.055, 0.055, 0.055, 0.055, 0.055, 0.055, 0.055, 0.055, 0.055, 0.055, 0.055, 0.055, 0.055, 0.055, 0.055, 0.055, 0.055, 0.055, 0.055, 0.055, 0.055, 0.055, 0.055, 0.055, 0.055, 0.055, 0.055, 0.055, 0.055, 0.055, 0.055, 0.055, 0.055, 0.055, 0.055, 0.055, 0.055, 0.055, 0.055, 0.055, 0.055, 0.055, 0.055, 0.055, 0.055, 0.055, 0.055, 0.055, 0.055, 0.055, 0.055, 0.055, 0.055, 0.055, 0.055, 0.055, 0.055, 0.055, 0.055, 0.055, 0.055, 0.055, 0.055, 0.055, 0.055, 0.055, 0.055, 0.055, 0.055, 0.055, 0.055, 0.055, 0.055, 0.055, 0.055, 0.055, 0.055, 0.055, 0.055, 0.055, 0.055, 0.055, 0.055, 0.055, 0.055, 0.055, 0.055, 0.055, 0.055, 0.055, 0.055, 0.055, 0.055, 0.055, 0.055, 0.055, 0.055, 0.055, 0.055, 0.055, 0.055, 0.055, 0.055, 0.055, 0.055, 0.055, 0.055, 0.055, 0.055, 0.055, 0.055, 0.055, 0.055, 0.055, 0.055, 0.055, 0.055, 0.055, 0.055, 0.055, 0.055, 0.055, 0.055, 0.055, 0.055, 0.055, 0.055, 0.055, 0.055, 0.055, 0.055, 0.055, 0.055, 0.055, 0.055, 0.055, 0.055, 0.055, 0.055, 0.055, 0.055, 0.055, 0.055, 0.055, 0.055, 0.055, 0.055, 0.055, 0.055, 0.055, 0.055, 0.055, 0.055, 0.055, 0.055, 0.055, 0.055, 0.055, 0.055, 0.055, 0.055, 0.055, 0.055, 0.055, 0.055, 0.055, 0.055, 0.055, 0.055, 0.055, 0.055, 0.055, 0.055, 0.055, 0.055, 0.055, 0.055, 0.055, 0.055, 0.055, 0.055, 0.055, 0.055, 0.055, 0.055, 0.055, 0.055, 0.055, 0.055, 0.055, 0.055, 0.055, 0.055, 0.055, 0.055, 0.055, 0.055, 0.055, 0.055, 0.055, 0.055, 0.055, 0.055, 0.055, 0.055, 0.055, 0.055, 0.055, 0.055, 0.055, 0.055, 0.055, 0.055, 0.055, 0.055, 0.055, 0.055, 0.055, 0.055, 0.055, 0.055, 0.055, 0.055, 0.055, 0.055, 0.055, 0.055, 0.055, 0.055, 0.055, 0.055, 0.055, 0.055, 0.055, 0.055, 0.055, 0.055, 0.055, 0.055, 0.055, 0.055, 0.055, 0.055, 0.055, 0.055, 0.055, 0.055, 0.055, 0.055, 0.055, 0.055, 0.055, 0.055, 0.055, 0.055, 0.055, 0.055, 0.055, 0.055, 0.055, 0.055, 0.055, 0.055, 0.055, 0.055, 0.055, 0.055, 0.055, 0.055, 0.055, 0.055, 0.055, 0.055, 0.055, 0.055, 0.055, 0.055, 0.055, 0.055, 0.055, 0.055, 0.055, 0.055, 0.055, 0.055, 0.055, 0.055, 0.055, 0.055, 0.055, 0.055, 0.055, 0.055, 0.055, 0.055, 0.055, 0.055, 0.055, 0.055, 0.055, 0.055, 0.055, 0.055, 0.055, 0.055, 0.055, 0.055, 0.055, 0.055, 0.055, 0.055, 0.055, 0.055, 0.055, 0.055, 0.055, 0.055, 0.055, 0.055, 0.055, 0.055, 0.055, 0.055, 0.055, 0.055, 0.055, 0.055, 0.055, 0.055, 0.055, 0.055, 0.055, 0.055, 0.055, 0.055, 0.055, 0.055, 0.055, 0.055, 0.055, 0.055, 0.055, 0.055, 0.055, 0.055, 0.055, 0.055, 0.055, 0.055, 0.055, 0.055, 0.055, 0.055, 0.055, 0.055, 0.055, 0.055, 0.055, 0.055, 0.055, 0.055, 0.055, 0.055, 0.055, 0.055, 0.055, 0.055, 0.055, 0.055, 0.055, 0.055, 0.055, 0.055, 0.055, 0.055, 0.055, 0.055, 0.055, 0.055, 0.055, 0.055, 0.055, 0.055, 0.055, 0.055, 0.055, 0.055, 0.055, 0.055, 0.055, 0.055, 0.055, 0.055, 0.055, 0.055, 0.055, 0.055, 0.055, 0.055, 0.055, 0.055, 0.055, 0.055, 0.055, 0.055, 0.055, 0.055, 0.055, 0.055, 0.055, 0.055, 0.055, 0.055, 0.055, 0.055, 0.055, 0.055, 0.055, 0.055, 0.055, 0.055, 0.055, 0.055, 0.055, 0.